we can just simply drag and drop our recap point cloud into our InfraWorks model. And we'll establish the same coordinate system as we did before. And as that data populates, we can pan around and look in our model and see that it came in in the right location. Now there may be some cases where some of these features that are available in InfraWorks, we may want to remove those to get a better look at our point cloud, and we'll do that here too. Ultimately, what we want to do is to merge those surfaces, that InfraWorks surface with our point cloud, and we'll do that now. Once we have done that, we can now go through and use the linear feature extraction tool. This allows us to simply trace along linear elements. Here we're tracing along the top of rail. And in turn, it will automatically generate a 3D line string that we can use in our other platforms that represent that top of rail feature. We can also look at these features in section view. And here, we want to establish those same types of lines, some 3D line strings for the top edge of our platform. And we can progress through that alignment and adjust those points as we need to. And here we can add a couple more points for the, the left side platform as well. We'll do that here. And we can do this for the top and for the bottom of the platform. And these are going to be useful when we create our surface and when we run our analysis for our alignments. So we'll adjust those here. We also are able to run the transverse feature lines as well. And those will generate points that represent our, the top of our point cloud, and we can adjust those parameters as we need to, make those closer or further apart as needed. And we can see those lines and those points that were generated there. Once we've established that, we can now export this data and use it in our Civil 3D file.